Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the following videos we are going to cover lightning in Unity 5. For today we are going to talk about emissive lights, a new type of light added in Unity 5. If you enjoy this video remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials remember to subscribe to our channel. For this video I'm using the exact same scene as in the previous ones. Now it may look a little bit different because I had a small issue with Unity and I had to recreate the scene, but we have the exact same same uh, type of uh, game objects in our scene. So we have our bouncing ball. Just press it play so you guys can see. We have our bouncing ball, our reflective ball, our box, and we have our light probe group. So, before we move on, let's first delete our point light. Here it is, let's just delete it. Now, when we talk about emissive light, we are talking about a material that is capable of producing light. This was not possible in previous versions of Unity. However, in Unity 5, with the new standard shader, you can now create materials that emit light. The effect we are going to get from an emissive material is similar to the neon light effect. Ok, so to add an emissive light to our scene, we need to first create a game object for it. Now what I'm going to do is to select the ceiling we have here in our box and I'm going to duplicate it and scale it down a little bit. So, duplicate, let's just make it outside. Let, let's call it Neon and move on a little bit, just ok, so let's place it here and here instead of 5 let's just 3 and 3. Ok, so now we have our object that will emit the light. So I already have uh, emissive mater a material with emissive light ready, here, this one here, the neon material. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it over our material. And here we have it. Now the, the box, as you guys can see, is emitting light. Now moving on to the material itself, as you guys can see here, um, we are working with the, the standard shader, the new shader from, from Unity, and we are actually doing is working with this field here, emission. Now, the you can do several things here, for example, you can change the color of the light. As you guys let me just drag this away a little bit so you guys can see it better. You can change the color, for example, to purple or something like that. Just let's just keep it white for now. You can also change the global illumination to none, real time or baked. Let's just leave it real time, and you can change the this value here, which is the intensity of the light. Now, usually this value is one, but if you use one, what is going to do is you just have a glow in the object will not affect the other objects around it so in order to have that effect you need to have values bigger than one let's just set it to two okay and if we press play you guys can see that is working just fine now you guys probably notice already we have no shadows so this is one thing to keep in mind with emissive lights is that when you actually use emissive lights Emissive lights will not cast shadows, ok? So keep that in mind. Um, now, one thing that you may actually want, for example, right now we have the entire object emitting light. And, for example, you may, ne may not want that, you may want just a part of the object emitting light. So, how you can do that? Uh, you can do that using a uh, emission map. Now I'm just going to talk about this very quickly because we are going to cover that once we talk about the, the standard shader. 
but just to give you guys an example I can go here I have several materials as you guys can see and I can select let me see if you have one that you can actually work with this one for example and as you guys can see there are parts of the material that are not emitting light anymore now what we have here this texture is that you have black areas and white areas now on an emission map on the white areas uh, you are saying to the engine okay this area will emit light on the dark areas you are saying you are not going to emit light so that's why you, are, you have this effect here so we want all to emit light so let's just leave it to none so like I said we are going to talk about this uh, again when we talk about the shader but just keep that in mind that you can actually do this now one thing that you ha need to be careful about uh, emissive lights is uh, how light affects the other objects now if we actually press play again you can see that the light is affecting our objects here for example you can see the difference in our bouncing ball okay now this only happens because we have a light probe group in the area this means that if you want the uh, emissive light to affect other objects you need to create a light probe group so if we turn the light probe group off this is what happens as you guys can see we still have the emissive light however is no longer affecting our bouncing ball so if you want the emissive light to affect other objects you need to have a light group in the scene again the more light probes you have the more realistic it will look however it will also be more expensive for the processor so try to keep the balance okay so this is it guys this is how you use emissive light in unity 5 hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial until next next video and have a nice day